All right. Now I'm uh, gonna do the uh, bone for the nut. So it's gonna be similar to this. But you see, this is too short, and yeah, it zips too loose in there. And yeah, I need sixty-seven millimeters. And for that, I'm gonna do it from scratch. I'm gonna use this, uh, yeah, this bone, and it's uh, Argentinian, um, like Argentinian uh, cattle or something. And yeah, it's very commonly used to make uh, bone saddles. And yeah, it's uh, bleached and it's li like a little bit oily. So you can feel that it's quite quite oily. And it helps to lubricate yeah, the bridge, so the springs uh, run quite quite good on them. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how I do it from a yeah, raw piece of bone. And I uh, yeah, I have to do it because um, I didn't find any supplier for like a four millimeter bone. So normally you got like three millimeters, but I want to have a four millimeters because it gives you more. Uh, space for compensation and also it's I, I think it looks better and uh, it also it's like yeah it's it's uh, better fixed in the bridge and I think it's not so flimsy not so uh, yeah I think it's uh, it's also yeah, technically a better choice okay so I got the bone left I found it and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna gonna use it to to do the bridge, uh, the saddle, and uh, as you can see, I've sanded this area, and I think I'll need to get it in a re rectangle and then cut off a piece. this piece of plywood and double-sided tape and my drum sander to um, yeah thickness it <coughs> and we're at uh, almost six millimeters yeah so gotta get it down a little bit and I'm gonna do it on the side of my drum sander because it also yeah, messes up the sandpaper and then I still can use this part. So we got 4.2 millimeters, and I want to get to 4.1 maybe, and then try out if it fits. And that's like the nice thing to have like a carpet table. So I got this uh, sanding block, and yeah, it stays on there. seems like a nice fit and I don't want to have it too too tight this time because I got the transducer under there and they say that you yeah, have to have it a little bit loose so you actually get the pressure on the uh, transducer so I think it's fine and to basically polish it 
I put this 320 grid on there and just slightly I need to uh, cut off the piece I need. So I cut it off with the bandsaw and I make need to make sure that it's like uh, rectangular, the cut. So I use this, um, yeah, this gauge, how you call it. <laughs> To, to kind of uh, guide the bone. Okay, it seems like Good. I want to shorten it because I only need 67 millimeters and I'm gonna make it to 69 and then uh, do the rest by hand. As you can see, the uh, nut slot is round on the ends because of the water bit. And this means I need to make this, these ends round and bring them to the exact length. I kind of want to roll over the place. Create like a nice round shape. And as you do it, you, you go in this way, but you rotate in this way. So, like this. So a little trick is to take a crowning file and use that to make the rounding. I would use it only for the final bit because yeah, it's quite fine. But yeah, got a nice round round edge. You hear like the little cracking noise. That means it, it's really, really tight in there. And yeah, that's perfect. And later when I get on the strings, I put on the radius and uh, yeah, work my way down. So this is still way too high. And yeah, but that's that's how I do uh, the bone bone bridge myself. And I'm gonna do the uh, the nut uh, also, but yeah, basically it's it's the same same way, just a little bit shorter, <laughs> so you can imagine how that goes. And yeah, so next will be the setup. Okay, so the guitar is almost finished, and what I need to do now is uh, yeah to cut the bone and uh, yeah 
pull on the strings, uh, make the setup and uh, carve, carve, carve the uh, nut slots and everything, take the, the uh, for the strings. And now I need to have like the radius, um, because the fretboard is radius, I need to have like a little radius in here and I just need it approximately at a, a certain height and I'm gonna use this uh, piece of carbon fiber I've left and a uh, pencil and what I'm gonna do is like take this as a gauge or a ruler and And it's a little bit higher, and the uh, this level is pointing at the top of the bridge. And yeah, I think that's gonna be about the height that I need at the end. So when the strings run over the saddle, uh, they got quite quite an angle to it, so there, there's enough pressure on it. So I need to make this yeah not that high, but like almost that high. So. Okay, now for the uh, nut and subtle. It goes in here. And I basically did the same method I used for the uh, subtle I'm gonna use for the nut. So I'm gonna draw a line. And you basically you take like a pen and you make a flat, flat aside, and then it gets like uh, it's flat to the tip, and then you put it over the first two frets and run it over it. And you see it's it's quite nicely fit in there, so. Usually it's like very flimsy and then you put like a little bit of glue on the bottom and the strings put it in place but I, I really want this to be to be as, as tightly fit as the um the saddle. Uh, the yeah the saddle. And as you can see you're almost there so I yeah take off a little bit, maybe just on this side, because the strings are gonna run down. Now before I pull on the strings I want to put on a little bit of uh, tape so I don't want to scratch the body of course and to do the setup I'm, I'm using like super cheap strings because I'll have to take them on and off a couple of times Hear all the sounds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is just for lining up. And yeah, the subtle is quite still quite too high. And I'll get it down a little bit. 
Also, I maybe need to get the screw a little bit in. Okay, so for the high E string, I want about three and a half millimeters. You know, so four, four, uh, three to four millimeters uh, distance to the edge. And so the top seems okay. It's like perfectly straight running into the. Uh, bridge shovel and for the high E string I only need three millimeters and people will say it, it looks weird but uh, when you play and your hand is like gripping you you tend to pull the strings so when you play play note like here you never push it basically, you always pull it. So you don't really need this, this much distance on the low E string. And also if you want to play like Jimi Hendrix style, like thumb over the, like this, uh, it's also nice to have it like a little bit on the side. Okay. I want to mark these. Now I want to uh, yeah put on the other strings and make the spacing. So maybe see like the first three strings run like perfect parallel, mm -hmm. and yeah I got to push them up a little bit. Now I put on this couple, and then when I push them up, they stay there. Okay, so what I want for the spacing for the uh, uh, nut, uh, I'm, I'm measuring uh, from the middle of the strings to the middle. So when you, you play, you mostly play up here, you want to hit like the strings and you don't want to hit the um, space between and when you are picking you hit the space between so uh, what I like to do is have, have uh, on the on the saddle have the space between the same and on the nut the space from the center of the strings it seems like they're Right. That's not going like this. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now I got it. I mark this also. This one's a little. Okay, now I want to just push them away a little bit and and this is like a um, file that's a little bit like I don't know what's the shape called. It's like round, but but uh, got this. Uh, nice edge here. So basically, you could do all the thread slotting, uh, the 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 uh, thread slotting with these uh, this tool because uh, there's like a small small radius and then it gets bigger. 
but I use it to yeah just do the first step. Now we've marked the notch. Now I'm gonna use my uh, these files, files and uh, they are like the size of the strings and I'm gonna use them to yeah set the height. So it's point eight. Now I want to get the string tension on and then see um, where we are and uh, do a fine tuning. Okay, so to set the nut height, we need to push down on the um, third fret and then you got like push this down and you see that there's a little gap in the underneath and to check that. And I don't really, there are like measurements out there, what you need to have, but I do it by feeling and experience. So the low E seems good. So if this like to to too low, the open strings are gonna buzz. And we don't want that. Slightly. You want to go quite slow. Can put it back on. Seems good. I want to clean up the nut. So I want to have the string approximately approximately a little bit lower than half there. Uh, Half, uh, half like uh, so when they're exactly half they kind of uh, lay too tight in there so they it needs a little bit less than half than than their diameter and so I want to have this edge too So I want to get this edge nice and like bevel on it.
a little trick to polish up the nuts is to use this, uh, yeah, the um, thread rubbers. So also to get the, the slots like nice and slick. So the strings will run much better on there. information on the uh, guitar itself so I don't know because it's a fan thread it could be much less than normal normally you would have to take the B string quite quite back and then like make make a ramp like this and ramp like this but uh, yeah we'll see Turned it up and checking the string height. It's like a little bit, a little bit high. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna correct it. Get in here. rotation and now we are to 2.5 and here we got like two millimeters and we want to have like the action perfect before we gonna adjust the um, intonation so if the action is super high you gotta press a lot down and when you press it's like uh, bending the string just in the downward direction. So uh, to set up the intonation you need to first set up like the uh, string height and this all seems seems good. Also the nut height seems alright. And now um, tune it up again. Unfortunately, the uh, tuning doesn't stay when I uh, change the neck angle, but you uh, remain doing this uh, all the time anyway. So, uh, 
want to check the intonation. like a little bit uh, sharp this also just a little bit some compensation but uh, much less than normal so it's like only I don't know, from yeah like 10 cents so it's basically nothing to see if the E string is too high So the E string also needs like also like uh, H8 cents or so, and uh, I think I'm gonna bring that down a little bit and then compensate the B string and the other strings like um, I'm gonna touch uh, yeah lightly and uh, I think this will do it. So the compensation it's uh, yeah it's it's better on the fan foot. Uh, at least on this one. <laughs> so I wanted to get the high E string a little bit lower. And now do some compensation on the B string. I'm gonna use this uh, File, it's like slightly wrong. And on the other ones, I need it just like five cents. And you don't want to have like this slot, this slot too deep, so you don't want to, um, yeah have the string like uh, deeper in there than the depth of the string so could create some buzz also to round out these edges Fine sandpaper. This is like super fine.
get in these slots. And make them nice and uh, slick so the strings run faster over them and uh, yeah, it's easier to tune the guitar later. Stays in tune better. So. Hey, um, that's like the uh, saddle, and I think it will do fine. And uh, I'm gonna put on the uh, like the real strings now and test it again because they are think they are a little bit they are 12 and no I want to use uh, number 13 so it can be a little thicker maybe I need different compensation it's also uh, always uh, varies uh, between different types of strings uh, what kind of compensation you need and so I'll check that and uh, yeah right now before I can install the tuners I want to uh, polish the uh, French uh, yeah, polish the surface. And first, I'm gonna use these polishing pads. Or yeah, they are like sanding pads, but super thin, or super super fine. Like you know, it's like three three thousand <laughs> yeah, grit, and uh, yeah, it's gonna make the surface nice and flat. And yeah, so I don't have to polish that much the end of the compound. Now I'm gonna use this uh, polishing compound and yeah it's a German German brand and it's, it's like specifically made for uh, French polish or shellac. And it says it has like 12 components and it smells like there's some wax in it. So, and it's like very, it's not abrasive. And I can, can like polish, polish the, the Sherlock without uh, any worries that I might polish through the, or like little worries that I polish through. And yeah. Okay, I think that's a better camera angle. Also, what the polishing does, it removes the oil. So I've used quite quite a bit of oil, and yeah, this process, this, uh, this step gets gets rid of the the excess oil, and it's already has uh, only has been like one day since I put on the last last coat, and it's already dry enough to to yeah polish it up. Okay, I think that's good now. And now I need to install the tuners. And first I have these, like there are these parts, and you press them from this side, and then you insert the tuner from this side. And I maybe I need to clean the 
think I need to clean the holes a little bit because there's like some residue stuck in there. I need to really carefully clean that up a little bit. Sometimes a little bit hard to get them in straight. Put some uh, felt pads on there. They're like sticky felt pads, and to protect the polish. And now I'm gonna do this for every everyone. Also, I used this before I polished to take off the edge. So when I ever have to remove these, uh, there's like less chance of the wood, uh, yeah, ripping out. The last one. Now I need to put in the tuners and some goes here. Now I see the uh, guitar is tipping. <laughs> it's getting more weight on the head, so the tuners are quite quite heavy. And so my guitars are a little bit uh, head head heavy, like tiny bit. And yeah, I think that's it's not so bad. And now I need to drill the holes for the uh, little screws. Draw. And as I told you, one extra. So I'm gonna save that for later. Okay, it's time now for the final setup. And I will remove the strings and I had them on to uh, adjust the uh, string height and everything. And uh, I will put on some uh, brand new uh, strings. And I will also uh, remove the strings uh, to better uh, install the pickup. And I'm going to show you how to remove the strings safely. So I put a piece of paper here that I roughly cut out like the back side of the bridge. And then I'm going to pull it through. And I maybe want to 
make it slightly. Just make sure to not uh, leave the tape on too long to not hurt the finish. Best way, of course, would be to to cut the strings. But I maybe want to use them for some setup work or something, and then just try to kind of make them straight at the end and pull them up straight. Okay. Now I'm gonna install the pickup. I got my pickup here, and I need to put this on there. Okay, now it's in there, and I need to find the holes. That's the uh, basically how you put in the uh, pickup, and if you want to adjust the truss rod, you can just uh, yeah pull this out and then uh, get access to the truss rod. But uh, I think uh, you won't have to do it uh, that often. Now I'm taking some uh, lemon oil to clean the fretboard. Just put it on there quite generously. And kind of rub it in. I've already put on uh, some linseed oil before, like when I made the fretboard, and uh, it's gonna give it the main protection, but this uh, lemon oil kind of, uh, yeah, it's refreshing it and uh, making it uh, look really, really nice and uh, also giving some protection. I'll put on the strings and I use these uh, Elixir 13 to 56 phosphor browser uh, strings. To put them on, it's quite straightforward. Just put it through and like grab it with your finger picking <laughs> fingernails. <laughs> Make sure the ball end doesn't hit the top. And then Yeah. And I want to have like a little bit of winding on the piano. it up like this and don't uh, uh, try to not hit the French polish here and then so I don't need so much winding on the uh, bass string because it's quite grippy but on the uh, uh, like the blanks uh, strings I will have uh, let a little bit more string and maybe just bend it a little bit like this now it's hooked in 
and yeah. Then I'm gonna proceed with the high E string. And you notice that's like a, a big difference in my guitars. They kind of buzz a, little, a lot when, when you don't have all the strings on because um, they have to kind of adjust to the tension. And now there's basically no tension on it, so the action is too low. But when I got every all the strings on it, um, it they, they shouldn't buzz anymore. But we can adjust it later. Okay, now the guitar is tuned up. And um, I want to control the... Uh, the fret action. So what I do is I go to the 12th fret and check it and it's uh, slightly above 2 millimeters and yeah a little bit less on the high E string and uh, yeah that's that's what it's supposed to be and if you want to uh, lower it or heighten the string action You can do it by turning this screw here. And uh, you can access it through this uh, hole. Just with the hex wrench, uh, turn it like um, counterclockwise. So the screw is kind of uh, turning in and pushing against uh, the back of this uh, part of the top. And it's gonna raise, raise the neck and uh, lower the action and in the opposite uh, you can lower the uh, neck angle here and this will increase the action and it's it's really you just have to uh, rotate it like um, half a rotation and uh, or maybe one rotation and uh, that's that's normally enough to change it like uh, half a millimeter here and uh, yeah this is how you fine-tune the guitar. Okay, as you can see, the guitar is uh, almost ready. So, last thing to do is to install the pins. And it'll be quite a good operation. There you go. Okay, there you got it, the uh, finished guitar. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, series, how I built it. And I won't uh, let you go now uh, before I play a little bit on it. So, uh, yeah. So you actually hear how it sounds. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. And uh, yeah, looking forward to do more of the fan frets. Uh, seems to be a really uh, good idea to do. And I think it looks quite nice on my guitars. And also the uh, pick art uh, idea I'm gonna uh, continue to, to improve and work on. And uh, yeah, all the pickups work very well. And uh, yeah, very happy about that. And uh, yeah.